In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Logitech MX Keys Mini for Mac. The MX Keys Mini for Mac is virtually identical to the MX Keys Mini, except for this is designed with Mac users in mind. It only has the Mac keys labeled on it. There's no Windows shortcuts labeled, and it looks pretty much identical to a Mac keyboard, although the main difference is in the function buttons. F1 through F3 is reserved for the device pairing buttons, and you also don't have the next and backwards buttons that you get on the Mac keyboard, so there's a couple small differences. You can use the Logi Options Plus app though to change what the different function buttons do to your liking. And these can be global settings and per app settings, so you can have different shortcuts if you're using an app like Final Cut Pro or Photoshop versus using the Apple Music app or just browsing on Mac OS. This keyboard uses Bluetooth low energy and can be paired to up to three devices at the same time, and you can store these by pressing and holding the device pairing button. That'll activate Bluetooth mode. And then you can get into your device settings, pair it, and then the device is now saved to that slot. The MX Keys Mini for Mac has a battery life of up to 20 weeks or 10 days if you're using the backlighting. So it lasts for a really long time. And using USB-C to recharge is really handy because so many laptop and phone chargers and iPad chargers use USB-C now. The box includes a USB-C to USB-C cable instead of a USB-C to USB-A cable. The pale gray also complements Apple accessories very well, although I do wish they also made this keyboard in the graphite color that matches the space gray stuff perfectly. If you compare the key travel on this to a Magic Keyboard, I find that it's a little easier to type on this as there's just a little bit more travel so I'm able to type a little bit more precisely using the MX Keys Mini versus using a Magic Keyboard. I also appreciate that they made the function and control buttons on this keyboard perfectly match the location of the keys on the Magic Keyboard. Probably the biggest disappointment with the MX Keys Mini for Mac is that they only offer it in pale gray, which goes pretty well with silver Apple devices, but the graphite color that they offer other keyboards in would go perfectly with space gray. If you compare the MX Keys Mini for Mac to the Magic Keyboard, this sits at a higher angle. It's also a little bit wider, and the back of it is thicker as well, and the keyboard just weighs more. So it's not quite as portable, but it's still really great on a compact desk setup where you don't need the full number pad on the side. It's definitely more comfortable to type on than the Magic Keyboard though, and a little bit cheaper too. So this is a great keyboard to pair with a Mac Mini, a MacBook, or really any desktop setup, especially when you're using an iPad on the side, or if you wanna assign one of your device pairing buttons to an Apple TV or an iPhone, it's really great that you can seamlessly switch from devices on this versus using the Apple Magic Keyboard. The main drawback to buying this keyboard versus buying an Apple Magic Keyboard is you don't get Touch ID. But if you wanna buy the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, it's quite a bit more expensive than this one is, and it won't work with all Macs either. If you're a Mac user and you really want the key labels to match perfectly, I would definitely recommend buying the MX Keys Mini for Mac. But if you would rather have the color match your computer, I would recommend you just go ahead and buy the MX Keys Mini. That way you can buy graphite to match a space gray setup. The only other real difference between the standard MX Keys Mini and the MX Keys Mini for Mac is the fact that the function and control buttons are swapped and also the top right button on the keyboards is just a little bit different. The MX Keys Mini has a delete key in the top right and the MX Keys Mini for Mac has a sleep button in the top right. Other than that, the two keyboards function the same and you can always use the MX Keys Mini for Mac on a Windows computer too. It's not tied to Mac OS only. The labels just match Mac OS perfectly. So if you're interested in buying an MX Keys Mini for Mac, or if you're interested in buying an MX Keys Mini, I have links for both of these keyboards in the description below. Also, subscribe to my channel, like this video. I've got a lot more content coming up where I'm gonna be reviewing a lot more Logitech keyboards and mice. So you wanna check all those videos out so you can see all the different mechanical keyboards and other Logitech products I'm gonna be reviewing from a Mac user's perspective.